everybody and welcome back to this week's video so for this week's video I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some college essentials that I definitely think that you should have especially if you are a freshman as some of you guys know I just got out of freshman year of college I'm going into sophomore year of college now um so I just kind of want to share my tips for any rising freshman college students um, and kind of just some stuff that you should bring and make sure that you have in your dorm room um, and yeah so anyways let's get right on into this video the first thing that I recommend getting is a power strip that has a surge protector in it and you want to get this just in case if you have a storm um, and it like blows everything out that it does not fry your computer or any of your other electronics um so this is really great to have um as well as make sure that it has multiple charging ports um you can use this for multiple devices um things that you have in your room um as well as when you have friends over you kind of have multiple spots that everyone can charge their phone electronics anything like that um as well as make sure it has a usb port i realized how beneficial these are because a lot of the times you lose your blocks you forget to bring your blocks um or something of that sort and you just have the cord itself so having the usb port um to be able to plug in is just amazing because you don't have to worry about a block or anything like that um and you can still charge your phone so it's great um and make sure you just have multiple i suggest having like two um depending on how big your room is it pretty much kind of depends on how many you need um for my fully extended last year that i had um i had two i had one by my desk and then i had one by my night not nightstand but like my dresser it was next to my bed um so i had one there as well so that's what i recommend the next thing that I recommend is strong command hooks or try looking to see at what type of walls you have in your dorm room because I didn't think about this but the texture of my walls which were concrete walls um it did not allow for command hooks to stay on very well um and I'll put the picture up here this um the square little thing right there um that like that grid so, no joke, I want to say maybe not even a week into me being there, it fell. Um, and then I could never get it to go back up because just if I put if I had put anything on there, like it would have been a disaster, but it just fell on its own, which was crazy. And then I had two um, metal crate, th not crate things, but like I was able to put like books and that kind of stuff in there. And those were hanging on the wall by my desk. And second semester is when they really started to like fall off um after like I was putting weight and stuff in them um and then even if I would take the stuff out of them to see if it was the weight that was causing it I realized it was the texture of the wall that was causing it um because even with stuff out of the crates they were still falling so that and I was putting new command like command strips up to see if that was the issue um, and that's kind of how I figured out that it was the texture of the wall that was causing it. So I definitely recommend that or Velcro. Velcro really saved me. I did my whiteboard in Velcro on the wall and no joke, it did not fall. It was amazing. So definitely recommend Velcro or some heavy duty command hooks depending on your wall. So the next thing that I recommend is an essential, but it's a laundry basket with handles or something that you can like physically grab um, because you're probably going to be bringing it a distance and I tell you this, you will not want to do your laundry so your laundry basket will fill up. Plus you have to carry your laundry detergent um, and anything else that you put in there. I I think you only really put laundry detergent in but um that kind of stuff um you're gonna have to carry that all the way to the laundry room depending on how far your room is it can be a little bit of a hike um i know for me um i had to walk down a really long hallway to get there 
so it kind of was a struggle um for me to carry all my stuff and i had not like handles i had more like you just kind of put your fingers and then you hold it like that um i didn't have like any i, I don't know words right now for things but i didn't have like physical handles to bring it um to the laundry room so that really was not the move um so it was just hard so i definitely recommend bringing a laundry hamper or something that has handles on it so you have more of a grip to bring it to the laundry room the next thing is a first aid kit and this really should just be an essential like well known but i'm just putting this in there because i had experiences where i needed the first aid kit and i did not realize how much i actually needed this um as well as like any other medication things like that that you may need vitamins all of those fun things but make sure your first aid kit is always stocked and ready to go um i want to say within the first month i practically ran out of all my band-aids because i had friends at school that wanted to cover up all of my bug bites from back being in florida with mosquitoes and everything they're so bad so my legs were covered in mosquito bites so we were bandaging stuff up um plus i had like injuries with my knee so i needed my instant ice packs that were in there um and then in february when i sliced my finger open um i really needed my first aid kit to go ahead and grab like gauze and just be able to wrap my finger um in order for me to get to the hospital from my school um just to kind of you know keep the blood and all of that kind of stuff so i'm not gonna go into detail with that but um anyways long story short you need a first aid kit just no question about it um definitely just recommend getting a first aid kit the next thing is a rolling cart for under your bed this is really great um just because it has three little layers so you're actually taking up a lot of space um, you're being able to fill a lot of space in these, plus it takes up less de desk space um, and vanity space or um, dresser space for any of your items. Um, and it's easy because it can just roll under your bed um, and then you can pull it out when you need it. So as most of you guys know, if you watched my dorm move-in video, I had, um, I had makeup in there, um, I had my skincare in there, um, I had some other like feminine stuff in there. Um, I had like my, what did I have? I had all my, like my makeup palettes, I had q-tips, I had my perfume, I had my deodorant, I had all of that in that cart. Um, so it was pretty much like my getting ready cart. Um, and I just kind of like rolled it over, um, and then sat down and got ready. Um, so it took, uh, it didn't take up space on my desk or anything like that. The next thing that I recommend is a water filter and I saw this all over when I was watching videos and I was like oh like I'm not gonna need a water filter like it didn't you know I didn't think anything of it until I went to school um, and then I realized how much I actually needed a water filter and they didn't install the actual like water filters where you like put your water bottle up to it and like it just automatically pours water into your water bottle and it was like filtered water um we didn't get that until end of first semester i want to say end of first semester is when we got them um so i pretty much went a few months without having filtered water and the water fountain water did not taste good plus a lot of people when they get drunk um or they get sick or they're just pouring stuff into the water fountain and it's just not good it gets clogged up it's all of this nastiness um so i definitely just recommend a water filter because then if anything happens like you can you know fill your water up somewhere else um and or you have it in your room where you can just pour it before class and just makes it easier one less step that you have to go do right before class starts the next thing that i recommend is investing in a good mattress topper and for me i got lucky and the guy at the or um bed bath and beyond gave us a really good deal with mine so i got super lucky because my mattress topper was supposed to be originally supposed to be really expensive and we had did the college 
um, thing where it was like you scanned it all and then wherever you were going, um, it just was there and ready for you on your move it, like whenever you wanted to go pick it up um, at your, the one that was closer, closest to your college. Um, and I was supposed to have a mattress topper and they ran out of my mattress topper um they didn't have any they didn't, actually didn't have any that unless it was like more of the expensive ones um and i just luckily got a good deal on mine but anyways what i'm trying to say is a good mattress topper is going to be great because you will be spending a lot of time on your bed more than you realize it most likely more than just sleeping um 90% of the time you may not want to be doing your homework on your desk um, and in your desk chair and you just kind of need a change of environment and you want to move to your bed and do your homework on your bed and you kind of don't want to be sitting on a rock. So I definitely recommend getting a good mattress topper as well as it'll help you not have back problems and just kind of get a good night's sleep before classes, before finals, midterms, all of those kinds of things. The next thing that I recommend is a jewelry tower and I did not realize how much I needed this until I got it for Christmas and pretty much um, I was living out of the foldable ones that you can like store your jewelry in there and my jewelry would always get tangled. I like hated it so much um, just because like it was never organized and I was always having to deal with untangling it and it was just not the move. Um, so when I got my jewelry organizer or tower for Christmas, I realized how much I really needed it um, so I could keep all my jewelry nice and neatly and it was ready to go, not tangled, um, and yeah. The next thing that I recommend is shower shoes. Um, this is a necessity, like if you're going to be in a common space um, and sharing communal bathrooms, you definitely need to have shower shoes. Um, we had a lot of, lots of incidents in our um, dorm, especially with what was happening in the showers. Um, it was always soapy too, um, so you always you had the chance of slipping. Um, if you had, had your shower shoes on, you were fine. Um, but if you didn't have your shower shoes on, which I know some people would walk into the bathroom without their um, shoes on, and it was disgusting. Um, and that's how people get at, like all of the fungus and all that stuff that is on your feet. Um, that's how people get that. So um, it was just not the move. So shower shoes definitely um, or just shoes that you know you're fine with getting wet um, and wearing in the bathroom. Um, kind of when you're like getting ready, brushing your teeth, doing all that kind of stuff um, after your shower. So that's what I definitely recommend. So the next thing that I recommend is a shower caddy and this is going to be really great because you can put all your shampoo and conditioner in it, your razors, um, all of your necessities for showering, um, you can put all of that in there, um, as well as a Bluetooth speaker if you really wanted to and you had a waterproof Bluetooth speaker and why I say waterproof is just in case if water gets on it, um, it you know it'll be okay. Um, but you can also put that in your shower caddy as well for going back and forth between your room and the showers. So just a necessity, make sure, or what I recommend is getting one that drains. Um, this is really good because you won't have water buildup in your caddy, um, as well as it won't cause any, um, like molding or getting stuff built up in the shower caddy. So like molding, mildew, all of that fun stuff, you won't be getting in your shower caddy um, if it has the holes and it can like drain. So the next thing that I recommend are the saving space hooks. Um, if you guys haven't seen these, that's, this is a picture of them. Um, pretty much what they do is they allow you to put multiple um, hangers on them and then you can kind of like fold them back. Um, to save space. So I like to use these for my cami tank tops. Um, I like to use them, I think I use some of them from like my hoodies. Um, and you can just use this to save space. And I just think that they're really easy. You can fit more clothes um, in your closet. So it also depends on your closet size, how much clothes you're bringing, um, things like that. 
As well as, depending on your closet size and how much clothes you're bringing, I recommend getting thin hangers. And you guys, thin hangers were the best thing that I could have in my closet. Like, I was able to fit so many clothes, and especially if you are coming from out of state, like me, um, from Florida to Virginia, I definitely could not go home and, you know, switch out my clothes. Um, because I was going up there, I was up there while it was still, you know, 70s, and then I was also there and never went back home when it dropped to 50s. So with it being in the 50s, I needed more jackets. I was not used to the cold whatsoever, so I needed that. Um, so I had a lot more clothes than normal in my closet. So I definitely recommend getting the thin hooks because you can fit more of your clothes in there. The next thing that I recommend are desk lights or table lights. Um, pretty much anything that you can use as an extra light source. Um, so you can put it on your desk, you can put it on your dresser, um, slash nightstand. Um, this will be really helpful because you don't want to keep your roommate awake um, when like you have to do homework and you're working. Um, I definitely suggest like just having that extra light that it won't be too too bright and won't bother them. Um, but that still allows you to get work done. Because I was on the other end of that situation where I would be asleep at 1, 2 in the morning and my roommate would have the light on until like 4 a.m. Um, and she was doing homework, which was completely understandable. But a desk light is preferred um, just for both, for both people. Um, just so you don't disturb your roommates, um, I definitely just highly recommend it. The next thing that I recommend are just fairy lights, and these are just super cute. Um, I feel like they go with pretty much any room look, and they're just super fun to have. So, yeah. So the next thing that I recommend is candle warmers, and these are really great, especially if you want candles and you want to have that smell in your room going all the time um candle warmers are a great alternative to lighting your candles because these are not allowed in dorm rooms um like you cannot light your candle in a dorm room like most i know most schools that is not allowed um so a candle warmer is a really great alternative because it's not burning um and it's not light like it's not a lightable thing so it's like if it knocks over you're more so just breaking the glass um, and it's just gonna be like warm to the touch but it's not going to like possibly cause a fire or anything like that so that's why I definitely recommend candle warmers as an alternative or room sprays um, things of that nature that can you know bring scent into your room the next thing is a laptop stand and this is great especially if you're going to be working from your bed or on the ground this is amazing to kind of have so you can kind of put your laptop up on like a shelf in a sense um so it's on a better level so you're not going to be hurting your neck when you're looking down constantly at your laptop because i know i would forget to use mine sometimes and I would end up having like the worst neck pains because I was constantly looking down at my computer and it was just really straining on my neck. Um, so that's one thing that I definitely recommend getting. The next thing is a mini pot and these are amazing because you will not realize how much you're actually going to make your own food in your dorm rooms. Um, you will not want to eat the dining hall food all the time um, and you probably will be buying more snacks and things like that. So kind of having a mini pot where you can make ramen, you can make pasta if you want to make eggs. Um, so like a mini pot pan um, situation is great to have as well as those utensils. Even if you're not in a dorm room that has a kitchen in it, 
Um, you most likely have a lounge room where you have a stove, an oven, a microwave, those um, appliances, and you can use those to be able to still cook food. So it's kind of great to have those utensils as well and just those things to be able to cook more food and more variety. Um, because don't be the person that just lives off of Chef, chef Boyardee from their microwave because I was that one for a bit. <laughs> So the next thing that I recommend is a lanyard instead of your wallet. Um, I still bought my wallet to college, but I put everything that I really needed in my lanyard. And this was great because I just had easy access to it. I was always wearing it because I always had my key. Um, and I just kept my, like, my dorm room key on my lanyard, but I also had my ID on my lanyard. Um, so in case I was going back and forth from somewhere... I could still get into my dorm room, I could go get food with my ID and all that kind of stuff. So just having it in one place and just knowing it's on you all the time is great um, rather than your wallet because I feel like your wallet you have to make sure that you have a bag to put it in or you have to make sure you carry it and do not lose it but your lanyard it just goes around your neck um, or you could put it in your pocket or something like that so you kind of I feel like have more um, of a chance of having it on you versus losing it. Um, as well as I re recommend getting the tile um, things on them because if you do lose it you can just go ahead onto your phone um, and find where it is and it will play a sound for you in case you lose it in your room like I did. Um, so that is always a great thing to have if you lose it um, from your like in your room, you leave it in your friend's room. Um, you leave it somewhere on campus, it will have a Bluetooth tracker on it and you'll be able to go find it. The next thing that I recommend is long mirrors and these are great because they just, like they're self-explanatory I feel like. They're long mirrors where you can see all your outfits, you can take cute pictures with your friends, um, you can kind of decorate, you put your stickers on there from your school. I'm kind of do whatever and it's just I feel like it's a necessity just to make sure you're always looking good um and yeah I just love mirrors too because they make your space feel a lot bigger um so yeah so the next thing are hair tools and these are really really great because they're not some amenities that you get in a dorm room so they're great to have especially if you want to look good for class you want to blow dry your hair, you want to straighten your hair, you want to curl your hair, you're going to an event, you're going to a dinner, you're going out, out on the town, you're doing whatever, you're hanging out with friends, going to a party, getting ready for, like, all of those things. Um, those are some things that you absolutely need um, if that's something that you know you're going to be doing in college. So the next thing is cleaning supplies, and this is, like, a necessity especially now with everything that's going on but we still like use them all the time because you want to disinfect everything um, especially if you've been sick or your roommate's been sick um, it's just great to have disinfecting sprays um, chlorox wipes things like that just to go ahead and clean your room as well as having a um, broom and a dustpan to get any dirt or anything that you guys have been tracking into your room um, those are just some like essentials that I think you need especially if you want to keep your room looking nice and clean. So the next thing is a food basket with snacks and this is a necessity for sure because you will constantly be eating snacks if you're up late studying you're gonna need that late night snack um, and you're not gonna be wanting to constantly go down to the vending machine and be spending money on snacks. So I definitely just recommend having snacks in your room um, just because if you need them and you want them, they're there. Um, and if you have friends over and you guys are like munchy but you're not like super, super hungry, they're really great to have as well as they're really great to have in between classes or if your teachers will let you eat in class, um, they're great to have, you know, in class. So yeah, I know we did this all the time. We were taking granola bars and chips and things like that to class um, and eating them in class or eating them in between classes when we only had like 15 minutes um, in between class, like our classes. So yeah, 
Next thing is plastic silverware. And you may think that you just want one fork, one knife, one spoon, metal, like you'll be fine. No. Trust me, you are not going to want to wash all of your silverware, your plates, your bowls, your cups. So plastic and paper will not be a bad idea in all honesty. Anybody who came into my room knows that I was very, like, I did not want to wash any of my dishes whatsoever. And I would have them sitting there until, like, I needed to go eat something. And then I was like, oh, like, I guess I'll wash this bowl and, like, the spoon. Um, and that's, it was so bad. Um, I would always wait last minute to go ahead and wash those stuff. So just definitely plastic, paper. Just makes it a lot easier because then you can throw it away you're not having to worry about washing things and letting it dry um and yeah but if you do go that route definitely bring um some soap and like a sponge to clean all of your utensils and bowls and all of that stuff the next thing is a water bottle and this is a necessity um just because you're gonna be going in between classes um, like I was saying with like the water filter earlier, like you're going to constantly want to be refilling your water and just having a like water bottle that keeps your, your drinks insulated, um, is great because then you can put coffee in it. Um, if it's a lot quarter day and it'll keep it warmer for longer, um, or as well as like water. Um, so you're constantly hydrated and if it gets to room temperature, it's still that ice cold water that you like. Um, so definitely recommend getting a insulated water bottle. And the next thing is a water boiler and this is amazing um, and just something that you need especially with being in college um, and you can use these in your um, lounge rooms so definitely recommend that. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's video and I really hoped you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe. Um, let me know if you want any more college-related videos. I would definitely love to film more for you guys. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!